All right, guys, welcome to the 30th ever episode of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me. Oh, we're back with another episode. You already know how the fuck we're rocking. John already fucked it up, but it's okay. It up. My bad, it's guys. Right, my I spilled a whole glass of fucking water, but it's okay. <laughs> we're still good to go. Drink your fucking water, motherfuckers. <laughs> Drink some water. Don't spill it like John, bro. Yeah, I'm too thirsty. Real talk. But nah, man, we're back with another episode for you guys. We appreciate everybody that's been fucking with us. So don't forget to thumbs up, like, you know what I'm saying? Share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know, all that good shit. You know how the fuck we're rocking. We appreciate everybody that's been doing that already. Facts, facts. But um, but yeah, man, we're back with another episode. About to light some doinks. My dog already lit it yeah. over there. What you smoking on, love? Oh, uh, bro, I'm smoking on some fucking chocolate gorilla glue number chocolate. four. Chocolate. Gorilla Glue 4, that shit gas. I'm smoking on some motherfucking cereal milk, guys. This shit is... Nah, that shit's mm, ridiculous. Mm, I never mm. tried some shit like that in my life. That shit, that shit literally tastes like cereal milk. It's kind but, of, um, I don't even like milk. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I nah, don't. Nah, nah, I fuck with milk, though. I fuck with milk. But yeah, man. Fucking, we're back with another episode, bro. It's crazy, bro. This shit's fucking... Episode 30. Yeah, episode 30 already, bro. Fucking, we're moving along, dog. I know, we're that's crazy. Along. I remember when we were episode one trying to fucking figure shit out. But, you know... you know, uh, Top flies, bro. Top's flying, man. You know, shout out to, to everybody that helped us along the way, man. You know, Gio and shit like that. Fact, you know? Shout out to Gio. Shout you know out to what Jay. Shout you know out what to I mean? Jay. You know what I mean? For, shout, shout out everybody, man. Yeah, facts. Because without y'all, man, I wouldn't have been doing this shit right now. Facts, bro. You know, so... Uh, gotta be grateful. Gotta pay homage when it's due. Real shit. For real, for real. Yeah, man. Um, but ain't been shit to do, Mav, except for like watch fucking music videos and shit like that. Listen to music. Facts. Talking about that shit, dog. Nah, fucking the Tootsie, gen- the Tootsie dance, whatever the fuck T- it's called. Tootsie? Tootsie, whatever. The Tootsie dance? Whatever. You guys know what the fuck I'm talking about. But it's, it's some... Uh, <laughs> nah, it's, it's a good dance. I like it. I think it's cool. You know, Drake took over and made a song, you know, covered it. And he made his own he little twist He remade the it. electric slide. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He yeah. remade it. But, you know, I think... I personally, you know, the song ain't for me or whatever. I, I personally don't really, like, think it's a banger like that. But yeah. I do appreciate what he did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate him not putting out no fuck. you know. He could, out of all the shit he could put out, it's good for him not to put out no negative shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, nothing negative. You know, he was there by himself. You know, facts. in the music video, he was, you know, he had the little mask on his face and shit. For the Corona shit? Nah, yeah. But he was trying to he was trying to make it relevant, you know? And it, and right. it worked. And it worked. So, you know, his... I mean, you got to incorporate what's going on in your shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? exactly. Real talk. But yeah, man, how'd you feel about the record? Did you like that shit? No, no, I did. I liked it a lot. Uh, I, I really thought it was cool. Like, I just, I thought it was a vibe. Um, I feel like it's one of those songs where you put out a party and everybody's going to be dancing to it. Everybody's going to be sliding and shit, you know, left foot, whatever, yeah, right foot slide, whatever. But uh, yeah, all the way around, yeah, I think it's a great song. Uh, you know, I mean, that's it's, 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 it's basically always happening. Like, you know, you got new songs happening every year, new dances, you know, you got the jerk, you got... All this extra different bullshit, you know, it's just gonna happen. Nah, it's good for for people to bring <laughs> some of the old shit back. Though. Yeah, and it's you gonna bring I mean? everybody together, man. Like, think about it. Everybody's doing that dance shit, and everybody's just Bro. posting it. Everybody's like having fun. Everybody's waiting and fucking itching. You know what I'm saying? For mm-hmm. this quarantine shit to be over, so they could go shake that ass, though. Yo, shit's about to be popping. Shit's about to be Yo. fucking litty like a titty as soon as this May first, May first, niggas, oh, niggas are gonna boom. be out here. <laughs> bopping and weaving, bro. Bopping and weaving. Jigging in this bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Nigga, instead of niggas buying a bottle, these niggas gonna buy like four bottles. You know what? I thought I was gonna be broke, but I'm gonna I be got even this more stimulus broke. Stimulus <laughs> check, bitch. Fuck you. I'm about to blow the whole shit in the club. Nah, fuck that. <coughs> yeah, but that's what most people do, man. Well, anyways, most of the people are behind on their checks, anyways. I mean, behind on their bills, anyway. So. Whatever fucking happens, you know, yeah, you, you paid this month, but guess what? You were still fucking owing from last month, so that shit don't even matter. It don't even matter. It don't even matter, so it, you're still losing either way. Um, but that's, it, it, it's, it's crazy, man. Speaking of that, I just got the, got a text. Stimulus check, 1200 I didn't get Stimulus that shit. Check. I haven't gotten Fact. shit. Fuck, we haven't gotten dick over here. Fuck. Damn, they don't like us, man. That's all good. We'll get it eventually. You know, you know what, man? But you know what I don't like? I really hate a bad wingman. Mmm... Let's get right into it. That's one of my that's one of my worst like my pet peeves, man. You know what like, can a wingman do t- for you that will make you think they're a bad wingman? Like know, naming a, a few examples. Um, honestly, like I feel like they they just set you up for failure, man. Like 
if they know, like, there's some people that know who I am and know who what type of female I like. Sometimes they set me up with like the total fucking opposite, and I'm like, bro, like you just like you're you just like that chick. You just Not you know what facts. I mean. You weren't. If you just wanted me to take one for the team, tell me. Say that. Be like, yo, facts. John, I need you to take one for the facts. team. Like, th- don't facts. Yeah, and don't have me set up thinking like it's gonna be a good ass time or I'm perfect for this person. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't even gotta be talk. perfect, but at least be some type of compatible. You know, compatible. Compatibility. Yeah, compatibility. Yeah. Exactly. Um, no, I agree, bro. I agree. I feel like. Having a good wingman is essential, but if if that's the lifestyle you're living, you know what I'm saying, going out and just like living that lifestyle, it's essential to have a good wingman. Yeah. But to the point that you made earlier, bro, the best wingmen are always women. They're always women. Always women. Yeah. Bro. Fuck them wingman. Give me a wing woman. Get facts, bro. You know what I mean? When like, women get that shit done. Yeah, they get They'll it done. They'll pull a whole crew. <laughs> <laughs> Bring four bad ones over. Like all yeah. the girl. I don't know what type of language they got. They got a whole another language with women, women and women. But facts. What. You know, like, if a woman is, is my wingman, I already know for sure I'm going to hit that night. No, that's a fact. Cause like because, like, she knows what you're looking for. Exactly. So, she peeps those tendencies in other women that you might not notice yourself. Yep. So, she'll go up and prey on that shit and be like, yo, my, you know what I'm saying? My boy's, he'll take care. Yeah, he'll take he'll care. Take you care. know what I mean? Like, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's doing good. You know what I mean? So... I ain't going to lie. That shit's happened to me. Last time but I... But I feel like that's swag. I feel like the men wingmen... That's corny as fuck. Nah, it is like corny. Like the nigga that like, yo, my boy's over there trying to talk to you. Yeah, nah, nah. It's like, nigga, nah, you nah, don't even fair. got the balls to go when up a, yourself? Yeah, when a woman says, hey, yo, my homeboy, you know, hey, he got that, you know what I mean? Like, he a good. A woman's more liable to trust another woman. Yeah. Before like they trust another exactly. dude. Exactly. Like, if a woman vouches for you compared to a man, just like what you said, like, they're going to believe the woman. They're going to believe fact. the woman and the man. The man can say whatever they want. That's they already get, women get lied to by men every fucking day. So you think they're going to fucking believe you? <laughs> If they think, oh, homies packing, homie, homies, homies, nah, yeah, fact. like, nah, they ain't gonna believe a goddamn thing you saying. Now, if a woman says it, it's a whole nother fucking story, because shit's women ain't gonna lie about that. That's automatically law to them. Mm-hmm. Like, but hey, man, that's why there's woman code, and then there's broke code. You know what I'm saying? True. Yeah. Uh, we got our own code, too. We can't, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can't yeah. deny that shit, but nah, yeah. that's how it goes. That's how the world works, man. For real, for real. And you know what, man? Like, it makes things interesting, bro. Like, it just makes, it makes, it makes life a little bit easier for you. Because, you know, you may not have the best fucking game in the world. You may not. I don't. I don't have the best game. I mentioned, I said that. I I tweeted that shit the other day. I was like, yo, I don't got the best game in the world, but I got some good female friends. Yeah. And not just that, bro. Like, I'm the same way, bro. I don't have, like, I don't have the best game. I just, I got a good vibe, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. I'm not the type of dude that's in here trying to do too much. Like, yeah. it's just a vibe. It's a you know vibe. what I'm saying? So, when you vibing, you vibing. If you're with it, you're with it. I had women but, tell me, like, yo, you're so chill. Like, you're so easy to talk to. Yeah, like, bro. You know, you, know you, you don't raise your voice. You're Honestly, mellow. Like, something that women need to understand, bro, just to drop a little gem out there, most men, dead ass just like chilling with women. It doesn't always have to be about sex. No, fact. Just having women around. It just, gives a different It's a aura. different vibe. It's a different vibe, a different bro. Like, vibe. you don't even got to sit there be doing that. Nah. Like, as long as there's women around, bro, it's a completely different vibe. Yeah. Like, like the type of woman that just, like, just wants to chill, smoke. Now, even if you don't smoke, you just want to vibe, you know what I mean? You want to have a little bit of wine. Like, that's my type of night. Facts, bro. Like, just I ain't trying chilling, to go bro. out and fucking show out. Like, yeah, we can go out once in a blue, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like... You know, like last couple weekends, you know, I went to the beach and shit. You know, we'll do shit like that. I like to be outdoors. You know what I mean? So, uh, I don't know. Like, but yeah, women are the best fucking women. Period. Yeah, they're, I don't, the, best I don't wing, know, they're the best wingmen. What, do you, what do you guys think? If you, you guys think, you know, men are better than, than women when it comes to being a, you know, a wingman, just let us know. Facts. Comment, comment. If you I, agree, let us know. If you disagree, drop it in the comments, man. You know, you know how we, I beg you know to how differ, you know, because... Nah, Shit. nah, we're, I agree, bro. I completely agree with you 100%, bro. It's crazy. For real, for real. But talking about being outside and shit, you like being outdoors, bro. I'm with you, bro. Yeah. You already know, like, we like going kayak Especially and shit like that. In Florida. That's we why, like, Florida. we can't take things for granted, bro. Like, after this quarantine shit is over, after this lockdown is over, I hope people don't, don't take things for granted. Like, yo, being able to go to the beach, being able to go to the springs. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, nigga, niggas is hurting. Bro. People are trying to go to the beach and just chill, and you can't. You can't, you can't even do that. <laughs> you can't, bro. You can't go for a walk on the beach and just chill, bro. Like just walking on the beach, just living in Florida. Period. It's fucking cool, though. It's it, it it's different. 
You know, you're able to go to a fucking floor, like a fucking forest right down the road or a gr- or springs. Facts. And then 30 minutes down the road, you can go to the ocean and see the water. Facts. And then another. There's oceans, it, there's rivers, go, there's lakes. It's not just Disneyland. You know what I mean? It's not just Disneyland. So, um, Facts. you know, Sway was the one that, you know, told us about that type of shit. Real you know, because we didn't really notice. We didn't really live through our life. Bro, I lived next to a few really good springs for years, bro, and I yeah. didn't go to any of them yep. until recently. <laughs> And that's when I really, when I realized, like, bro, like, we're missing out on a lot, bro. We can't let shit like this go away. Yep. That's why the day that, you know what I'm saying, you and you and Sway went out and picked up cans and shit at the yeah, park, bro, yeah. I respected that, bro, because it's like, we can't let that shit be trash. Yeah, it like, was a lot of bags. It was like, it was like a full, like, two bags of, like, trash. And it was, it's ridiculous, man. Like, people, like... I don't know. They're, we're destroying the earth. We already spoke about that in episode two, or you know. What yeah, I mean? we ain't trying to. You know, we ain't like, trying to dim the mood, bro. We're yeah. trying to get shit popping, get yeah. shit live, bro. Get live, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Get, get lit. Y'all, get y'all laughing and shit. Get lit, because <laughs> for real, bro. Like, nah, cause we tired of being fucking sad and man, shit. Ain't nobody trying to be depressed all the fucking time. Bro. But like I said, bro, fucking living in Florida, man, it's crazy. You could be walking down the beach and the fucking kilo will fucking pull up on your ass. A few of them, bitch. <laughs> you walking down the beach having a romantic dinner. You know what I'm saying? Or a little picnic on the beach, whatever. Yeah, but you better be careful, bro, because them cops be watching. Yeah, that's there fine. There was a nigga that, he found a kilo, a kilo at the beach, put that shit in his trunk, and got pulled over leaving the fucking parking lot. Damn. <laughs> We're going to jail for a long time. Caught you. Caught you, dumbass. Damn, that's crazy. I don't know, man, but like just living in Florida, period. Is nah, Florida. We're, we're in the agree, wild, wild bro. west, like you said. We are the wild, wild west, bro. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> People that come down here get it, get it misunderstood. Number one, everybody got guns down here. Everybody, every house that you could possibly think of probably has a gun in there if there are people living in it. That's number one. Number two, Floridians ain't scared to put the guns down and use the hands. You got yeah, facts. You know what I'm that's saying? True. That's another misconception yeah, that's, that's true. that a lot of people come down here and be like, oh, y'all just about guns. Bro, we will beat your ass hands and feet. Nah, like, yeah, like we'll throw rocks at you. Like, like fuck I, a nah. rock, bitch. You'll <laughs> well, get no. this rock. You get rocked by this motherfucking I'm right. Tell, no, I'm telling you, but we wild. We wild. Well, Floridians is just another breed. We're, is, anything crazy that happens, it fucking happens in Florida. They're with the shit. Bro, listen, all of Central Florida is with the shits. Facts. I'm telling you. Crazy like, or just like normal? Like, we're it, it don't matter. It's fucking wild to me. Facts. Fucking, yeah, but we've been here all our fucking lives, though. You yeah, know I've been I mean? here like, most of my so, life, bro, so. We're used to I it. consider myself a Floridian. Yeah, people come, come down here and they're like, yo, y'all swimming fucking, you know, rivers with gators in them? And we're like, yeah. Like, that shit's normal to us. We don't even think twice about it. Yeah. Like, you know, we'll go to fucking Silver Springs and jump in the water, jump swim in the water for a little bit. Not even but, think about it. Yeah, like somebody from up north is like, hell no, nah, bro, there's gators in that bitch, there's snakes in that bitch, I ain't getting in that motherfucking water. Yeah, for real, for real. That's, it's, it's different. Like, you know, I went to Connecticut. Remember I told you I went to Connecticut a couple right. weeks, you know, and it, it was cool. It was cool. It was different though. Like, I've never been up north, period. You know, right. I went to the airports and that was it, but I never really went out to like the, the city, the and city shit. and shit, you know, and I was driving around and shit. Um, you know, I even went to the dispensary. It was cool. You know, that was my first time ever being in the dispensary. But that um, was litty, know, bro. I, I had to make sure they were open. Right when I landed, I drove right there and I got, you know, I got to fucking Springfield, Mass. Right bro, there. You got to. 45 minutes. Because I was like, bro, I'm not going to go out and ask anybody on the street. I don't know anybody. No, 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 no. So I'd rather go to a legitimate Fuck establishment. Fuck get robbed. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I, nah, I ain't doing that. So, but yeah, they made it stand like five feet away from each other. But, you know, they, they still had it running. And, you know, once I went in there, they were pretty happy. They were like, yo, man, you're from Florida and shit. And I was like, yeah, man, this is my first time buying legal weed. Word. And he was just like, he was a white guy with dreads. He was like, oh, man. <laughs> I was like, bro, give me the best stuff you got. Real shit. Motherfucker gave me a fucking quarter. I paid $120 for a quarter of bud. If anybody smokes bud, you guys know that $120 a quarter is crazy. So that shit better be good. Depends on what it is, though. Yeah, that shit Because there's some fire. shit out there that. That shit was fire. You know what I mean? It was some shit called Alien, Alien something. Mm. And it was ridiculous. <coughs> um, I actually, I actually have the bag too. I still have. It. I'll remember the name. But um, but nah, bro. I, I completely agree, bro. Up north is just, it's a whole different vibe. It's yeah. a whole different way of living. It's a whole different mentality. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when I went up to Jersey one time, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to fucking Pedro and, and his family for taking me up there and shit. Fucking um, freezing your ass off. Bro. Freezing my ass off, yeah, bro. Yeah. It was like negative three degrees with the wind chill and shit. I was pissed. <laughs> But it was a whole different way of living, bro. Just from the way the way you could drive around the city, like, like 
everything is different. You know what I'm saying? If you're not from there, like, you'll get used to anything. Like, humans are creatures of habit. Like, whenever you do something for long enough, you'll get used to it. But yeah. I wouldn't want to live up there, bro. Me personally. Nah, that's you know how I'm I saying? felt like, too, bro. It, and it's just, it's mainly because of the cult. <clears throat> like, that shit was a different type of cult. That, that's, that's Any no Floridians go. that have never been up north, bro, you, when y'all down here freezing your ass off in a Florida winter, you don't understand what it feels like up north when there's a blizzard about to come through and it's fucking negative three degrees with the wind chill. Nah. That shit will make you want to stay ass in the motherfucking house indefinitely. Bruh, it was 40 degrees when I went out there, but it was a different type of 40. Mm-hmm. Yeah, facts. Like, it wasn't no, like, oh, a for Florida 40. That nah, 40 bro. felt like 20. That shit was like 20, and I felt like that shit in my bones, and I was freezing my ass off. <laughs> you trying to my, smoke a doink My homegirl asking me, like, yo, what the fuck wrong with you? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm cold, <laughs> like, chittering my teeth and shit. Like, you know, like, I don't know. Nah, but that's why, That's why, honestly, bro, we got to travel the world, bro. We got to see what's out there. You know, cause... and I've seen some shit, and I've been in the cold, but, like, it's been a long time, mm -hmm. you know? So, like, that was a wake-up call. Like, you know what? And like, it's not just that, bro. When you experience things as a kid, and then you do experience them as an adult, it's two completely different things. Two different things. Totally two different things, because you got fucking adult priorities, <laughs> and then you got fucking just being a kid and not having any priorities. Not having any worry you know? in the world. Fucking snowing, like... I asked her, I, I was like, yo, because she, she's, it's just her and her mom, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, how, how the hell are you able to get out of, like, get to work? Like, like, what do you, what do you do? You don't have a man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, how do you shovel the snow out of the driveway? Like, and she's telling me like, yo, that's just, that's just how yeah, it is. Like, that's, that's what just, she gotta do. that's what she got to do. It is what it is. And I'm like, damn, that's crazy. I didn't think about little shit like that. Like, uh, like up North is another lifestyle. It's another, yeah, it's a it's completely a, different lifestyle. It's another bro. lifestyle, man. And, you know, like, and she lives on hills, bro. Like hills, like this, like slanted, like, and I'm like, yo, imagine being in an icy road and just sliding, and you got your kid in your kid in the car. Uh, e brake ain't doing shit. That's just gonna keep You're going. Sli you sliding, bud. You slip and you sliding, up. like in wet and wild. Hey, dog, slip and slide, yeah, <laughs> straight to the hospital after that. Nah, that's crazy, man. Like, I yeah, but I would never live there. I would never yeah, live man. there. No There's offense no to anybody up north, you like, know what I'm saying? We fuck like, with people in Jersey and Connecticut. Yeah. We yeah. fuck with y'all, man. Salute oh, to y'all. Yeah. If anybody is from up north, you know what I'm saying? But it's just it, it, it's a different type. It's a different type of lifestyle that you got to be. I feel like you got to be born in it. To you know understand what I'm saying? To, it. to really like just like yeah. think it's normal or just go there all the time. You know, I got friends that are not like they weren't born in Boston, but they're fucking, they go up there all the time because they got family. Facts. They're used to it. They, that's just the lifestyle. You know, they go up there for Christmas. It's fucking snowing. Like, it's just normal. Real it's shit. It's fucking normal. Fucking not Real for shit. me, though. <laughs> nah, hell no, nah, bro. I like I'll to see iguanas and shit. <laughs> I, like, I like being able to go in my backyard and, you know what I'm saying, sunbathe for 30 fucking minutes. Yeah. And, and just not, chill and, and not, not be freezing my fucking ass off. Yeah. Not have four months of winter. For Fuck, real. Like, that shit's trash, bro. Nah. Like, nah. No. That's crazy to me, you know. Like, but you know, we don't take things for granted. You know what I mean? That's kind of one of the big things I wanted to talk yeah, about. Yeah, bro, taking uh, shit for granted. Taking shit for granted, man. Um, you know, we live in a vacation spot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? People don't realize, bro. That. People we, come here from all around the world to witness what we have in our own backyard. And people don't even think that. Shit. People don't. People don't take advantage of it. Like, yo, like the people that you know, what I'm saying you're depressed and shit like that. You're always at work. You come home. You fucking. You know, your stress, whatever, like, go out one, every once in a while, take a little hike, go to a spring, you know what I'm saying? When is something besides just indoors and phones and computers and shit for a change? You know what I mean? Like, because that's, that's part of the problem, bro. A lot of us, we stay inside and we just like, we're always around technology on our phones, watching Netflix, whatever yeah. it is. It's like, bro, there's a whole world. Or they give it to their kids. Outside. Yeah, like, bro, like, there's so many things to go see. Yeah, you could definitely take your kid to the fucking park. I think it's better to take a fucking walk somewhere than it is to just, like, give a fucking tablet to their kid all day for five, to six hours, and who knows what the fuck they're watching. Like, yeah, they got locks and shit like that, safety and all, like, nowadays, but it's like, bro, bro like, that's not the point, though. Like, they got weird-ass fucking cartoons nowadays, so they got some subliminal-ass messages. Have you seen Disney? Yeah, Disney facts. was, like, on some weird shit by itself when we were kids. We didn't even notice it. Facts. Now that we well, look now back... Now that we're adults, yeah, you're like, yo, what the fuck? So imagine what the fuck they got on right now. That's a fact. But I feel like that comes down to parents being lazy and not wanting to parent. 
You know, it's easier for them to give their kid a, a tablet and have them be entertained for five hours than to sit there and entertain their kid, figure out how to keep them entertained. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, that parent, a lot of parents are lazy, bro. And they let TV, phones, tablets, and teachers raise their kids. Yeah, that's what it is. That's the generation of having kids right now. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe, you know, maybe I'll let my kid use a tablet once in a while. Right. I ain't gonna sit here and be a and be a hypocrite. Right. You know what I mean? But no, nah, we're picking up books too. Yeah, like no, nah, like, we're bro, doing like, other shit. Like, we going outside. Like we're going fishing. Facts. I'm gonna teach you how to tie a knot. Make you know, do Facts. some crazy, just some normal shit. Like not even crazy, shit, just normal just shit no that people should know. Change Basic. a tire. How to do your own oil. Like you know what yeah, I'm normal like, shit, shit like that. that. Like yeah. come on, bro. Like just regular everyday shit. Just teach your kids. Like there's so many kids out here that grow up and get. The simplest situations is like the biggest hurdle to them because they never, they yeah. haven't learned nothing. Yeah, because they've been babied all their fucking life. That's and a that's fact. another thing too. People getting babied all their life, they don't know how to fucking live on their own. It's it's Bro. like it's like it's like me giving fucking food to a stray dog, or like a stray animal, or like something a wild animal at that. Mm -hmm. Not even a stray dog. I would give food to a stray dog because it's a dog. It's a pet. But like a wild animal, you know what I mean? Like. It's not going to have its instinct. You know what I'm saying? That's like taking care of a whale and then bringing it back out to the fucking wild. Again. Yeah, it's not going to learn how to. They're likely going to die. Exactly. Yeah, fact. Same shit. It is the same shit. It's the same exact shit. And, and it's sad, man. It's sad, bro. Because you have to go through stuff to, to learn and survive. Like, you really do. If you don't go through anything, then I feel like you're just going to be worthless. You're going to be. Bro. You're going to be vulnerable. Time. Time is the best teacher, and patience comes with time. You see what I'm saying? So it's like it takes a while to get there to where, like, you're looking at things different. Because I'm sure, like, you're, you're 24, right? Yeah. I'm 25. Five, six years ago, bro, we had a completely different mentality. We were focused on other things. You know what I'm saying? We, we had a, you know, we, we were just different people. You grow. You evolve. And as you evolve, bro... You should want the people around you to evolve too. Your yep. family, your friends, you everybody. know what I'm saying? Everybody. I'm like yep. real shit. Not everybody can go though. You know, not everybody evolves, man. You know, some people just they kind of just stay in the same position. Um, you know, but it's part of life. You kind of just go through shit. You learn, just like how I said earlier. You just gotta learn, man. Just take the knowledge. You know, pay attention to your elders. I think that's very important too. Yo, you know, not all your, facts. not all older people got the best fucking knowledge, but you know, they got some type of knowledge where they've been through some type of situation where they could tell you like, hey, bro, I've been through this. Facts. Don't go through. Don't do Listen, this. Listen, bro. Nothing under the sun is new. It they just it comes in different ways with different names. Yep. But nothing under the sun is new. That's why I used to listen to my grandpa a lot. Because there was certain things that like he would tell me and like as a kid you don't you don't fucking you're not paying attention yeah. like that. Yeah. But when you get older you're like, holy fuck. Like the first time this man ever came to Florida, he pointed at a patch of woods and he's like, Yo, one day when I'm gone, they're gonna tear this shit down and build something. And I was like, I'm fucking eleven. I'm like, Oh, okay. Seven years later, when he fucking passed away, guess what? That lot next to fucking Deltona High School that yeah. he pointed at, they yeah. started building a mall. And I was yeah. just like, what the fuck? Like, older people know what it is. They've yeah. been around enough to know, be like, yo, that's a good place to have a shopping center. Yeah. <laughs> like, You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, when you go through life, it's different, bro. Like, yeah, it's different. That's why you got to go through something. Like, exactly. Gary V said, he, I watched a video where he had me rolling. He's like, yo, if you're a 22-year-old life coach, like, teaching people how to run their life, like, get the fuck out of here. Like what the fuck? <laughs> where, what the fuck have you done? What do you know? <laughs> That's what like, I'm saying. Like, like you're yeah. 22, bro. Like yeah. you might know a few things. You know, you might have read up on some shit. But reading yeah. a book and experience are not the same thing, bro. Yeah. Experience is the real teacher. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. That's true. That's true. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. So. I always listen to my grandpa too, man. I'm gonna miss him when he goes. You got man. to, bro. Yeah, you know, because he's old, man. I tell you all the time, bro. Yeah. Cherish him, bro. Go visit him. Yeah, spend yeah. time with him. Have conversations with him. Now that you're a grown man, Hell ask yeah. him grown men things. Oh yeah. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because yep. when he's gone, bro, you're gonna wish. You're gonna wish you had that. that my grandpa always call. treated me as a grown man. And that's what you gotta love. You, you know what I'm saying? Like he. But never, that's the older he, Hispanic. You know what I'm saying? Generations. Yeah. Like, they were all like that. My grandfather always spoke to me, always treated me like an adult, even when I was a kid. You know? Got and, to. I, and that was kind of like one of those things where I was like, yo, I could talk to you about anything. I could tell you. Because there's a respect. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. a certain level of respect there. Yeah. You know, I like go out there. Talk. Yeah, it's crazy, man. That's wild, bro. But yeah, man, you know, just uh, don't don't take shit for granted, man. That's kind of like to end the, the conversation with that. You yeah, know? bro. That That's pretty much what you guys should get out of this. Is yeah. Don't take things for granted, whether it's going outside, enjoying nature, enjoying your family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? While you have them here. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Things aren't always perfect. People get mad at each other sometimes. Yep. But most problems, if you really sit down and rationalize, most problems are fixable. Yeah. You can fix them. Yeah. You can sit People down and talk about it. People just have pride or just, whatever the fuck it is. When it but, comes down to talking about it. Yeah, it, communication every, ain't yeah, there. It's just not there. A lot of people don't know how to communicate, but that comes from the social media era. Yep. Because yeah. social media ain't social. No, it's just being private, trying to lurk and making subliminal messages. Pretty much. You know, that's not even saying it directly to the person. Like, that's why people say at me next time. Tell me. Like, bro, just tell me. Just tell me. You know, like, all you got to do is tell me. But, you know, communication is, is lacking nowadays. Bro, we man. ain't even that old. And I remember when we were in high school, before the social media boom really hit. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you had a problem. You go talk to a person. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. meet up at the park. Whatever it is that you got to do. You got to meet up. If you got to meet fight, up, you got to do anything. Like, you got to tussle. You got to put your hands on each other. Like, like, bro, like, that's what we did. And it if is we what did it, is. we spoke it. Like, we, we shook hands and that was it. We went about our day. Like, we went Facts. to school the next day and we saw each other. Like, hey, all right, cool. Facts, bro. Like, you know? But, you know, that, you know, times are changing, man. We're in a different time now. Even the older generation, even the older people that... You know, like our grandpas, yeah. they, they they tell us all the time. Every you know? generation is growing up quicker and quicker, bro. Yeah. Like dead ass. Like we grew up kind of quick, but our younger siblings and, you know what I'm saying, little cousins and shit like that, they're growing up even quicker than what we grew up. And it's like, shit's crazy out here nowadays, bro, for the youngins. Like, honestly. You know. But hey, man, what do you guys think, man? What do you guys think about, you know, the world today? Like, you think it's crazy, man? Because we need some comments, man. I want, nah, I, facts. you know what I mean? Like, we'll write back. Like, who knows? I might facts. even follow you on Instagram, man. So if you fucking with the show, man, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, you know. Check us out on Instagram. Check me and Low Key. I'm going put to the, put the names right here. I put them in the beginning, but I'll do it again. Word, and uh, bro. Yeah, man. Like, you know, I'm just excited, man. Episode 30, bro. We, Episode we getting up 30, there. Bro. We getting up there. Started from a dollar and a dream. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, just talk, talk. we were just talking shit and, you know, it became reality. Hey, man, got to speak it into existence, for real, for real. But yeah, like John said, we appreciate everybody that's been rocking. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, share, hit all that good shit. Has been yours truly, low key. John, I'm out.